All right, Rusty Rooster coming back at you with uh, the next episode. This is episode six of the Ostaman series. Goal for this episode is hopefully going to be to get 60 combat. Uh, but I just logged in, and it looks like there is a, another thing here. It's an advent calendar. Uh, it's not technically the first of December where I am. Two medium prism. Well, that's just useless. Why are you having this pop up for Iron Man if we can't claim it? That's like popping up like, oh, you got two free like keys for the treasure hunter thing. Okay, well that's anticlimactic. Uh, I'll have to check and see if there are any rewards that Iron Man are going to be able to get on this. But yeah. Alright, I'm back. Just finished my daily challenges for today. Let me claim the rewards. So I got up to 19 agility, 16 fletching, and 44 mining. Uh, 200k shattered anima. I think I need that for shattered worlds for like bladed dive. I'm not sure if that's a lot or not though, because I've never done that before. Combat training dummies. That's interesting. Uh, tier three aura refresh clues. Soul Reaper Refresh. Uh, oh, that's cool. I can do two Reapers in a day. That's pretty awesome. And then Wild Card. I feel like the free-to-play rewards are like nothing. There is nothing great about those. But yeah, let's just collect those rewards. I'm going to do some more monthlies though. Alright, just finished with doing my statues. Those are going to reset tomorrow, I believe, because tomorrow is the first of the new month. Uh, maybe they reset today. I'm not sure. But, yeah. I got a couple levels. Let's see. 37 prayer. That's good because I got protect from magic now. Uh, I need 43 for protect from melee. Got 45 construction. Uh, hunt for Red Rock Tuber, that's one I'm going to need to do to unlock the penguins. So, yeah. Uh, I think the next thing I'm going to do is I think the circus reset today so I can get some magic XP. Alright, be back in a bit. Alright, just finished with Nemi Forest. I got to 38 prayer, which gives me nothing. So, great update. Alright, so just finished the circuits, then do the agility, I just did the range and the mage. Got to level 23 magic, so I can do elemental workshop too. Uh, a bunch of stuff which is useless since I can't use magic. Um, level 5, I got snipe now, okay that's pretty good. So at this point I have done circus, I've done nemi, I did... Uh, the statues. I think statues are going to reset again tomorrow. So I think at this point it's just going to be some combat training. Once I get level 50 combat, I'm going to probably switch over to doing some mine and smithing so I can get level 50. So I can unlock rune weaponry. I can probably kill some green dragons and get dragon bones, which is going to make it easier to train prayer. Alright. Alright, so I missed it, but I got 50 attack, which means I can now wield Rune Weaponry. Ah, I slurred my speech there. Rune Weaponry. So, basically, after this inventory, I'm going to uh, offer these bones at the uh, Chaos Altar in the Wilderness to get more Prayer XP. I did get a Golden Party Hat Shard. I don't really care about those, honestly, because... I'm never going back to Mainscape, and that doesn't really hold any value for me. Um, but yeah, basically going to offer these bones while I'm done at the Chaos Altar, and then probably going to do some uh, mining and smithing to get to level 50, so I can make those rune weapons. And then I'm going to do a whole bunch of questing, so... Alright, so I just got 40 prayer. What does that unlock? Well, 51 combat, that's one thing. 
Uh, but then I also get protect from missiles, so I only need three more levels, and I have protect from melee. And really, 43 prayer is all I need for a long, long, long time until I unlock uh, curses from Temple of Sintis. Then also got 40 uh, constitution, so let's go. Let's do this thing. All right, so yeah, this advent calendar is completely useless for Iron Man. I got four training combat dummies, which apparently Iron Man cannot claim, which makes no sense whatsoever. Uh, but yeah, that is uh, just great. Let's see, I got uh, Slayer, Herb Lore, and Smithing Challenge. Uh, what do I have for Slayer? Rotworms? Okay. Yeah, I'll do this, and uh, I'll get back to you when I'm done with it. Alright, so I just finished doing my daily challenges. Let's claim the rewards. Alright, so I got Smithing level, two Herblore levels, and a Slayer level. Then I got the 200k Shattered Anima. Um, let's see here. I'm not sure how much I actually need for Bladed Dive, but it can't be. I don't really know. I'm going to have to look into that. Um, but let's see what these skill levels get me. Alright, 43 smithing. That's cool. Uh, 21 herb lore, so I can now clean Herolander, which is cool. I'm not sure exactly what you use Herolander for. Um... And then nothing super new with Slayer. Alright, so I kind of forgot all about Anachronia for a while. Um, I came back and now have 5,000 hides and all that. Uh, so, I think I need to create the storehouse first. Yeah. And I have enough to do it, so build that. Alright, so then the next thing to build is the sleeping quarters tier one which I need 10,000 wood 10,000 leaves and 10,000 hides so let's see here so I already have a lot of wood so I'm probably just gonna put two uh, no I'm gonna put three on here and then I need the leaves, so let's see. I'm going to put four on this, and then I have three more. Put that on the hide. And then I should have enough in a while uh, to unlock that. It's not going to take super long because I'll be getting like 240 an hour. So should only take a couple days to get that all right so let's see third of December let's see if I can actually claim the magic note paper hopefully I can because I think you can make magic note paper with the invention skill so hopefully it should be something claimable by Iron Man uh, no we cannot this is honestly getting a little bit ridiculous <laughs> like why even include this on an Iron Man account, just don't have it pop up. Regardless, though, I got a wood cutting challenge, a cooking challenge, and a smithing challenge. Smithing is good because right now I am uh, trying to get my mining and smithing up to where I can make room gear, so that should hopefully help kind of with that grind there. But yeah, let me get back to mining. I'm gonna finish this inventory and then I'll do my challenges. So. All right, here we go. Got the smithing challenge, cooking uh, challenge, and woodcutting challenge done. So that got me to 54 cooking. Uh, I got a smithing level, so nothing super crazy there. I think you can get a woodcutting level off that. That's kind of disappointing. Uh, let's see what I get. Five combat training dummies. How much you want to bet that I can't even attack them as an Iron Man? watch melee yeah I'm not doing any damage to it this is completely pointless 
Like, do you see this? I'm not depleting its health at all. I don't think I'm going to get any XP from this. I mean, I suppose it's useful for building a Dren, but I don't have to do that because I got the Adrenaline Crystals at the uh, uh, War's Retreat. So yeah, this is completely useless. Uh, just destroy these. Okay. And then add the oddments. So, alright, be back in a bit. Alright, so I just got 50 mining. That's one of the requirements for Hero's Quest. That's important. I need it, I think, for Ritual of the Majorat. Um, I can now mine Runite. Uh... And I can use Rune Pickaxe, Sandstone. I don't really care about that because I'm not going to be doing that for training anything. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish mining Luminite here, uh, fill up my ore box, and then I'll start on the smithing grind uh, to get to level 50. Uh, so then I can make Rune stuff. And once I get Rune... Uh, I'm going to try to do some quests so I can get the Dragon Slayer quest done so I can use the Anti-Dragon Shield uh, to kill some green dragons to get some bones to train my prayer up to 43. So, yeah, that's kind of going to be the goal for uh, this weekend uh, is get Dragon Slayer done, get 43 prayer, and then try to get 60 combat. Um, it should be pretty easy, uh, to do that, so, yeah. Alright, so I did get 50 smithing. I totally forgot to record it and I logged out, so I don't know what 50 smithing necessarily gets me, aside from rune. Uh, but yeah, got that goal. So, gonna mine some rune to make some, like, rune weapon rune stuff, um, and then, yeah. Alright, so I'm back. Uh, I just finished doing my daily challenges, uh, so that means, let's see, I get three divination, uh, divination levels up to, uh, level eight, got, uh, up to level 20 dungeoneering. Uh, I didn't get any fishing, surprisingly. Um, let's see what I get for the rewards. Oddments and a skip token. Nothing super important. Aura refresh will be good. Box of clue scrolls will be good. Soul Reaper refresh. So the next three rewards will be good. But it's been pretty underwhelming, the rewards this week. I thought 200k Shattered Anima was like a lot. I was like, holy cow. But then I went to the store and I was like, yeah, I need like 65 million in order for Blade to dive. So, yeah, it's like a drop in the bucket. That's pretty much just enough to give me a teleport to Shattered Worlds. But collect these rewards. And then let's see if uh, I unlock anything interesting with these levels. So I got 42 wood cutting. I did that because I had to, like, uh, basically gut out all the resources in the dungeon I did so I could build a so I could make a Fractite 2H so that the boss wouldn't take forever to do. And then eight divination. Nothing super crazy. Except I can transmute Runite ore. Uh yeah, that's kind of useless. Sign of the Porter one. Sapphires okay. But that's only five charges, but, I mean, it's something to think about. Um, ch -ch -ch -ch. Let's see. Use two bound items, Dwarven Mine, Hidden Mine. I think that's actually pretty useful, because I think there's, like, Luminite in there? There's something in there. But, yeah. Alright, I'm just going to get to questing now. Alright, so I'm just finishing up uh, Gunner's Ground right now, and this quest gives me five quest points, so let's see what it gets me up to. Okay. Come on. Here we go. Okay, so five quest points, that brings me up to 31. I need 33 in order to uh, do Dragon Slayer. 
So I'm thinking I'm probably going to start working on getting like the uh, Elf Quest series started. Uh, because I will want to get the Dragon Halberd. Because that's very useful for... Uh, it's very... Oh, okay, so I got 22 crafting too. Um, but it's very useful, the Dragon Halberd, for training melee. Because you can take that to ED3. You can take it to the Abyss. And I do want to get my combat stats just super high super quickly. Uh, so then I got to choose a skill. It pains me not to put it in Herb Lore. But I need to get 55 magic. Like, and it's only 200 XP. It's nothing super crazy. It's not even enough to get me a magic level. Alright, I'll be back in a bit. Alright, <clears throat> so I just finished Plague City. That's another quest point, bring me up to 32, I need 33 for Dragon Slayer, so I guess I'm going to do the next quest in this series, is what I'm going to do, um, yeah, see you guys in a bit. Alright, <clears throat> just finished Biohazard, uh, so I got three quest points, which got me up to 35, so I can definitely do Dragon Slayer now, I'm going to do that after Quick Branch, uh, ah, I if I could speak a quick break for lunch. I got three thieving levels, that's pretty good. Uh, so that gets me all the levels I need for hand in the sand. I'm not sure if I need that for something or not, uh, but I'll figure it out. But yeah, when I get back from lunch, gonna do Dragon Slayer, cause then I can get the anti-dragon shield and then I can finally just kill some green dragons to get dragon bones and get 43 prayer, which will be something I definitely need before I start doing reaper tasks, so. Man, killing Elvarg is a lot easier than I remember. Yeah, I ran out of prayer at this point, but it doesn't matter, he's dead. So, yeah, let me go finish this quest. Alright, so, just finished it. I got two quest points, 18k strength and defense XP lamps. That's actually pretty cool. It actually just straight up gives me a room plate body. I thought it just gave me the ability to use it. Um... But yeah, so continue. I don't need to buy one because you just gave me one. So get the defense XP, get the strength XP, and then let's see what that gets us. Six strength levels, eight defense levels. So now I'm combat level 55. That's pretty cool. Uh, does that unlock anything? Darkness of Hollowvale, that's important because that's one of the Meyer Q quest series. Uh, 38, Elemental Workshop, that's not super huge. Freedom, that's good because it'll help with Adren stalling. Um, but yeah, now just to go kill some dragons. So I think rather than killing dragons, because I just tried killing some, I got to 31 uh, prayer. So... Uh, not 31, 41. So I need like 5.7k more. This quest though, uh, what is it, Merlin's uh, Holy Grail, you get a reward for this of 11,000 prayer XP. So I think I also need this for doing some other quests because I think Kane's Ransom is either required for the Meyer Q series or for the Ritual of the Majorat. I forget exactly. Uh, plus, this will give me more defense XP, too. So, it's going to help get my combat level up. And that's, like, a not insignificant amount. But before I do that, though, I got to do Merlin's Crystal. Merlin's Crystal. Uh, there are no quest requirements. No skill requirements. Uh, do I get any good rewards from it? Six quest points and Excalibur, which is going to be good, because once I get... Uh, enhanced Excalibur uh, that will be pretty good and a thousand XP lamp too so yeah this just sounds like it's gonna be a quest I need to do so yeah I'll be back when I'm done with it alright so I bought uh, Premier Club just cause it makes a lot more sense it's like forty dollars cheaper than paying by each month plus I get loyalty points so I bought Jack of Trades, uh, not the first tier one, the second tier one, so Master Jack of Trades. 
And this is something I'm going to have to end up doing like every day. Now, I'm not going to put it on magic right now. I need to get some herb lore levels. Um, so 98. So that got me two herb lore levels to 23. And with the Premier Club, I believe that I can actually reset Jack of Trades. Uh, that's weird. Oh, okay, yes, I did have Jack of Trades reset. So I can reactivate it, and I can do it twice a day just for having the Premier Club. So, yeah, I'll be back when I get it done again. Alright, just did the second one. Let's read it. Put in herb lore again, and that's 1,000. So the experience reward you get scales with your level. So now I can do uh, restore potions. Not super important, but I'm getting up there. All right, just finished Merlin's crystal. That is kind of insane. Six quest points for this. Uh, I'm going to be moving on to the next one, uh, but first I'm going to go to the Varric Museum and talk to Historian Minus. So, yeah. Well, this lamp can be used on any one of a number of skills. I was hoping it was going to be like a combat skill so I could get magic XP from it. But no. Um... I think I'm just going to do herb lore. I'm not too worried about magic, honestly, because I can always train magic by, uh, like, either doing teleport spells, uh, because it's well established in the world of Black Clover that even though Asta doesn't have magic, he can travel through spatial magic. So, I could train it by teleport spells, or I could train it by alchemy or enchanting. So, there are other ways to train magic, but herb lore is way more important right now so yeah so I just got to 25 herb lore off that which basically lets me clean Renar but I can't make prayer potions yet that's weird why would I be able to clean Renar but not make the prayer potions oh well moving on Alright, just finished Holy Grail, so I got 11,000 prayer XP, 15,300 defense XP. That prayer XP is overpowered for how easy this quest is. So, basically, I got two prayer levels to 43, so I can now use defense for melee. Truck, yes. And I got four de defense levels up to 43. So now my total combat level is 56. So I can do Legends. It's one of the requirements for Legends. Hunt for Cirque, that's also important because I can train the Abyss once I unlock like that quest. Um, Lunar Diplomacy, not super important since I'm not using magic on this account. Normally that would be like a huge thing, but it's really not. But there's just a bunch of different kinds of armors that I unlocked. Um, so basically now all I got to do. I think I'm going to do the tree gnome quest. Because that gives me even more combat XP. Um, and then whatever I have to do left after that. I'm just going to do some training. Uh, let me put my settings for melee. Uh, toggle off defense at this point and just focus on strength and attack um yeah so i need like four more combat levels and then gotta do the reaper so all right so i just finished up my daily challenges for today uh let's see what i get so i ended up getting three divination levels three archaeology levels so I'm level 11 in both uh, tier 3 aura refresh, I mean, I guess that's cool, and some oddments, so the oddments, yeah, those are just my bank at this point, but what do I get from these levels? Level 11, I can use an iron matic, not super huge, got level 52 mining, 
Legends. I think I need that for one of the quests down the road. Uh, Divination. Nothing super huge. So, yeah. Just going to keep going. Alright. <clears throat> so, I changed my mind. I'm not going to do Tree Gnome Village because that's only just going to give me, like, one attack level. It's not super massive. I would rather devote my time to getting, uh, basically... Uh, regicide done because then I can buy the rune and dragon halberds which is going to make training very easy because then I can start doing the abyss pretty effectively uh, because I'll be able to target multiple of them at one time so for regicide I have the 10 crafting I need I don't have 56 agility so that's something I'm going to have to work on and then before I do that I also have to do the underground pass which for this I need 25 ranged um, so basically the goal is going to be get 25 ranged 56 agility um, and then do those quests and I think that's where we'll end the episode I know I wanted to unlock the Reaper but a lot of things kind of got in the way and I think in the long call this is going to be good just to get it over with so I'll be back with any significant agility gains all right <laughs> I think I'm going to uh, stop the episode here. It's been about 26 minutes, so it's would be a super insanely long episode if I don't cut it short here. Uh, next episode, goal is, yeah, get the agility level so I can get the rune and dragon halberd. Then I uh, get 60 combat too so I can start doing reapers. Uh, I am going to also be trying out a new game, Albion Online. I'll post my initial reaction to that in a bit, too. Um, probably going to play a couple of hours. So, Alright, if you enjoyed this uh, series, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. If you have any ideas for me, just let me know.